Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create an audio slideshow in YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm signed into my account, and let's just hit the upload button. And rather than uploading a video, what we're going to do is select create photo slideshow. And now we can pull in pictures that are already in my Google account or we can go ahead and upload a collection of pictures. I'm going to upload some pictures about my recent trip to Australia. So let's select photos from my computer and I have a folder of pictures there. And let's go ahead and pull some of those in. Now we'll upload those pictures. All right, so my pictures are uploaded, and now I want to put them in the sequence that I want to use. So we'll start here. I'll drag that picture up, and then we'll drag that picture in, and now we'll say put that one in, and I'll put this picture in that place, and I'll switch over here, and this will be the end of my slideshow with it flying away. And there we go. So I've got my sequence set. And let's click Next. Now on this screen, we can select a music track. Uh, we can also change the duration for each slide, let's say five seconds. Choose our effect. We can choose our transition. Let's say I want to use uh, diamonds as my transition. And my video is going to be about 50 seconds long, so I want to choose some music that's also rather short. And as you can see here, there's 150,000 tracks that you can pick from. Your students could have a great time looking through that. Uh, we could also just go in here and choose a category. Perhaps I'll choose classical, and I'll choose a rather short piece of music. And let's go ahead and now upload that. Now I can save my slideshow about Australia. Yeah, we can give some tags, perhaps Australia. Now as the video is processing, we'll see the percentage up here. And when it's done processing, we'll hit the publish button. All right, so my video has finally processed. And now there's a couple more things that I'd like to do with this before we make it public for the world to see. Uh, number one, I'm going to advanced settings here. And I always recommend either turning off comments altogether or moderating comments before you publish this. Particularly if you're going to have students use, use this tool, uh, you definitely want to moderate comments or just turn them off altogether. And I find that most YouTube comments are not terribly useful, so I just turn them off altogether. And now we'll go back over to my basic info. And here I can change my thumbnail, the view that appears when the video is static. Uh, I can choose one of the images that YouTube selects, or I can add my own custom thumbnail by uploading it. And perhaps I want to add this one here. And I'll make that my custom thumbnail for the video. Now let's go ahead and publish the video. And we can see our video live on the web now. Open it up in a new tab. And so there's my new video. Now, let's say I want to add a little bit more information to each one of the slides that appears in the video. What I'm going to use is the YouTube annotations tool. There's a couple ways you can do this. I'm still logged into my account and viewing one of my own videos. So I'll just hit the annotations button.
Now the video is loading here in the editor. Let's add an, an annotation. I'm going to add it right here at the two second mark. And we'll do a speech bubble. And we'll say, my trip began with an early flight from Los Angeles to Dallas. And we can make the font a little bit bigger. We can change the font color if we want it to appear in a different way. We can change some highlighting around the font if we like. There we go. And we can choose how long that speech bubble will appear for on the screen. And I'll quickly drag the corner to make sure that it appears in full size. Let's go ahead and apply that. And now I'm going to move along into the next slide in the video. And I'll back up just a little bit. There we go. And let's add another annotation. We'll just repeat that process for every one of these slides in the video. Let's say the next leg of the journey was on an A380 from Dallas to Sydney for 16 hours. And again, I can change my font change the font color, font background, and the length of time that the text appears for on the screen can be changed over here. My start time, I'll start it back at about the six second mark, and I'll end it right around the 10 second mark. There we go. And again, we're going to apply the changes And now all that text will appear as we play the video on the screen. So that's how you can create a video slideshow in the YouTube editor. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.